Hi, I'm Jeff Naples, the beard behind the bar, and today we're talking one of my favorite spirits, tequila. Tequila has a big range of flavors, from very simple to very complex. And what that means is that there really is a tequila for everybody. The ones we have here today, we have a Hornitos tequila. Their silver is actually called a Plata. We have a Reposado, which means it's been aged in oak. Then we have an Anejo, which means it's been 18 months in an oak barrel. We're gonna make one of the easiest drinks just possibly to make with tequila to get you started, and that is the ranch water. You don't even need a shaker. We're just gonna mix it straight in the glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ice in my glass. Just wanna fill it all the way up. We're gonna go ahead and grab our silver or a Plata Hornitos tequila. We're only gonna need an ounce and a half of this. Like I said, you don't have to shake it, so it's just gonna go straight in the glass with the ice. So we add in our ounce and a half. If you go over a little bit on this, that's just fine. We're gonna use about a half of a lime, or if you're measuring it out or using a lime juice, we're gonna use three-fourths of an ounce. So I'm gonna roll my lime a little bit just to get it nice and soft, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half. So go ahead and cut a slice for your garnish, and I'm gonna cut my half into two pieces just to make it a little bit easier to squeeze into the glass. And now we're moving on to the next part, which is simply just topping this with about four to six ounces of what we're using is a, a raspberry lime polar seltzer water. This raspberry lime is gonna mix really well and just add a little extra flavor to a very simple drink. We're gonna take our lime wheel and cut a little slice in it just so we can put it right on the side of the glass. And there you have your ranch water. Up next for our tequila cocktail, we're jumping into a leveled up version of a Moscow Mule. So for this one, we're gonna use a Hornitos Black Barrel 18 month aged Anejo tequila. That's a lot of words, I get it. But this one is aged in, in an oak barrel and it's gonna give it a great tannin taste. It's going to be a nice smoky flavor with some agave. But see, it's mellow enough to mix wonderfully with the cocktail. So we're gonna add 1.5 ounces of that straight into our shaker. Next, instead of adding ginger beer, we're gonna mix it up just a little bit and we're gonna use a ginger liqueur. This is gonna add that same ginger beer taste, but in just more of a smooth fashion. So we're gonna add just a half an ounce of this because we don't want to overdo it with too much sweetness. We're gonna add one ounce of lime juice, which is gonna be just over a half of a lime. So you can give that a roll in between your hands and then just go ahead and cut it just a little over a half. We're gonna squeeze that straight into our shaker. One more shake there, and now I'm gonna add in a few slices of jalapeno. I like it pretty spicy, so I'm gonna add just two or three into my shaker, and then we're gonna have a couple more just to garnish our drink. All right, so now I'm gonna shake this up. I can already smell that jalapeno and that agave from the tequila. This is gonna be a really good drink. So now I'm gonna take my glass, I'm just gonna add my ice to it, and we're gonna go ahead and pour this right over the top. Strain this straight into our glass. We'll add a few of our, our sliced jalapenos. And there you have your Lemula cocktail. Make sure you watch and shop this episode of The Beard Behind the Bar on hstv.com.